welcome back to The Pulse. Now, the Elimbele district of the Western region has mostly been in the news for the wrong reasons when it comes to activities of illegal mining, popularly known as Kalamse. Recently, uh, there have been confrontations between some residents of the area and Adamos, a mining company, over disagreements over a parcel of land that Kalamse has had went uh, into to mine. Over the past few days, there have also been allegations against the district chief executive of the area over his alleged involvement in illegal mining activities. So why these allegations and what's the DC doing about the issue of illegal mining in Lembele? Joining us now is Kwesi Bonzo. He's my guest today. He's the District Chief Executive Officer for the area. It's good to see you. Good to see you guys. You're doing well. Yeah, right. <laughs> By the grace of God. Yeah, indeed. Uh, but f first of all, I need to point out that uh, even before you came into studios, uh, we're also reading reports of uh, a magistrate in, in, in the district raising concerns about uh, some activities of illegal mining going around uh, going on around um, her residence or his residence, I should say. Uh, what's the, 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 the true story surrounding that? Uh, I think that issue is a little unfortunate. Yeah. <clears throat> it's been dealt with extensively over the last couple of weeks mm. since the news broke out. Right. It's true, the magistrate uh, complained, wrote to us uh, that he had, she had relocated out of her bungalow mm. because she cited Galamse. Oh, so she officially wrote yes. to your office, I guess? She, Mm, she didn't do it herself. But, okay. uh, she got the regional administrative officer of the judicial service mm. to write to. The letter was written on the 14th of July. I received it on the 26th of July. Okay. It was then that I called her. Then she confirmed to me that she actually, the letter was written at her behest. Mm. Mm. But uh, the issue has been dealt with recently by the Minerals Commission that did an investigation into the allegations. And the report has donated myself and the assembly mm -hmm. and rather applauded us for the good work that we have done in fighting what, what immediate steps did you take in in resolving that matter for instance okay so it's true there was some galamse activity in the area right. in way back in 2021 last year right it started somewhere around february 2021 so it came to our attention march 2021 immediately what we did was we convened a, di a dissect meeting you know, the issue of Galamse is a very complex socioeconomic yeah. right. phenomenon. And now it's even politicized. And you know, this country, once everything is politicized, it becomes difficult to even so, deal with it. Right. So we needed to bring all the stakeholders together. So in that particular meeting, which was held on the 5th of March 2021, we invited officials from the judicial service because we realized that activity was affecting the, the residents mm -hmm. of the magistrate, mm -hmm. as has been stated. And uh, in that particular residence, she shares with a divisional police commander. So we invited officers from her outfit, okay. mm -hmm. uh, from the EPA, okay. and the chiefs in the area. Mm. Nana Salma, Telukubukazu in Crawford, Anya, the mm. Galamse prone areas. Area, so that we could all sit together, round table, and find a solution. And at that meeting, the chief of Telukubukazu did something that shocked everybody at the meeting. Mm. He owned up that uh, those guys doing the Galamse were doing it on his instruction. Oh, really? But then he didn't ask them to do Galamse. Adamus Resources Limited has a trust fund, community trust fund for Telco Bukazo. Okay. So a certain amount of money, I think almost 800,000 Ghana City, mm. had been devoted to construct a bridge to connect the old site to the new site. Mm. Now in the process of construction of a bridge, the chief then asked some native of the community to do the certain, to dredge the river. The area. Yeah. And in the process, the person yeah. took advantage to do Galamse. <laughs> so the chief owned up and then asked that we should give them one month, end of the month, okay. to try and clear the mess and then also halt the activity. So, so what assurances are you giving to the magistrate now? Oh, that, that, that issue has been solved. Right. So that's what I'm coming So, So you've halted? It's been halted since... The activity. March. So right after the okay. meeting, right after the said meeting, yes. mm -hmm. two weeks later, mm -hmm. around 20th March, we got information that... The guys had gone back to site and were doing Galamse. So on 21st March, which was a Sunday, we called under dissect meeting. Mm -hmm. This time to map up a strategy to, to effectively to, effect, do. to do an arrest. Right. So Monday, 22nd March, we arrested the guys, three people at the site, mm -hmm. took them to court. Mm -hmm. And then once again in court, mm -hmm. the chief came again to testify for them. And they were not doing but, but in this whole narrative, and I'm sure that you've also heard this yourself, that your name has come up as one of the persons involved in illegal mining within the area. You are DC, so uh, some say you're using your office 
as a cover-up. Is that true? I think that's very unfortunate because if there's any DC who has fought against illegal mining in the Western region, it should be Bonzo K. It's my record in the fight against Galamse is well documented and self-evident. Look, there are minutes of dissect meetings, over 20 of them that has been heard. Some of them, we have invited a member of parliament, we invited the chiefs, we invited major stakeholders. I see that you're with yes. some, some documents uh, here. Several Maybe you'll be breaking them down yes. for us. Mm. And then, uh, in fact, today right. marks the third anniversary of the first Galamse operation that we did in the, in the Lemuel district. It was on the 10th of August, 20, 2019. Hmm. When together with EPA, the BNI, DICEC, we launched our first anti galamsey operation. And the area head of the EPA nearly lost his forefinger in that, in that yeah, operation. Wow. And since then, we've, we've and, uh, done over 16 galamsey operations. Yeah. 16. Within a period of three years. What results so how are, are these operations yielding? And, and I guess maybe it's part of the reasons why persons say you've not effected enough arrest, and maybe that's why the, the activities are continuing within your district. If we are assessing our performance in terms of the fight against Galamse, I, I would say we have had a success story because currently there's no ongoing Galamse activity in our district. The, there's no Galamse in LMC? Not at all. What if we find out one? There's no ongoing Galamse. You see, there's another Galamse. Hmm. You cannot, as a law as or as a government agency, you can't prevent them from going to site. Okay. You can only be reactive because it's a crime and it's involved economies, money. So those who are going there, they plan. What you do is that once you realize they have gone to site, you map up a strategy to halt their operation. Mm -hmm. So the current issue of the magistrate, we stopped, we arrested them, mm -hmm. processed them to court, mm -hmm. and then the court obviously. Uh, referred the matter to ADR. So since March 2021, there was no Galamse activity. Until June, last two months. Then the guys claiming that they have a court order to do reclamation right. went back. In the process, we realized we were going to do Galamse. So we actually, in that instance, I wrote a letter. I wrote to the, the divisional commander. Okay, uh, so, so this is the, this is the letter of, you're yes, pointing to. Yes. So on the 7th, of, I guess, right. Yes, of, it's, of June. Um, mm. I wrote to the divisional police commander right. asking him to undertake an arrest immediately. Mm -hmm. They received a letter. In this letter, you would have realized that I copied the district magistrate. Right. So that's his received copy. Yes, so, what so, yeah, right. so if I am involved in Galamse, mm -hmm. would I be writing letters to the police, mm -hmm. copying the magistrate, copying the chiefs, copying? But you see, I, I'm a parliamentary candidate. I've been a three time parliamentary candidate. So my political opponents. On the final you experience. feel politics is feeding into Sure, this. sure. They know. You go to the community, they will tell you that the DC Bonzo is not involved in Galamse. This for no reason that the, the most recent investigative report issued by the Minerals Commission, which is the regulatory agency of right. the industry, mm -hmm. has donated me that rather I should be applauded for the role. But in, then again, what I would say is that Galamse, fighting Galamse, right. needs a collective concerted effort. Mm. We shouldn't be blaming each other politically for whatever reasons because it permits political actors to take advantage of, of exactly. what's happening. Exactly. But, but there's also the aspect of jobs for the boys. And I guess it's part of the reason why they, they keep going to the concessions. If, if there are no jobs in, in the district, obviously you find them seeking for jobs on, on the Galamse sites. I'm sure in Tokumemle, where Joy FM is situated, <laughs> there are unemployed people here. Does that give them the, the opportunity to come in jo into Joy FM and decide to do their own thing? No? That is why government has introduced this community mining policy. Mm. And it's all about creating jobs for the youth. Of course, in the mining areas, my experience as a DC in LMLA for the past five years is that the large mining companies has a lot of concessions in those areas. Right. Like, for instance, in Alamble. Mm -hmm. You just mentioned Adamus. Right. Adamus owns a lot of the concessions. Now, the youth, uh, the company cannot employ everybody. Currently, Adamus has about 1,134 employees, about 57% of them being natives. Mm -hmm. But even that is, is around 600. Right. We are talking about a, a, a district that has a population of 100,000 right. population. So, obviously, there will be un, unemployed youth. Right. Um, but that doesn't warrant that the unemployed youth should just go into the concessions that are not theirs mm. 
to illegally undertake any activity. Yeah, but as DC, you appreciate that there is the issue of unemployment. So, what steps are you putting in place okay, to, so, to, to deal with that? So, since uh, I took office, right. we've been engaging with the light scale mining company Adamus. And quite recently, Adamus has agreed, committed itself to okay. releasing about 150 acres of its concession for committed mining purposes. What we are doing now is to go to the processes of getting it. And the whole idea of committed mining. It's just a small scale mining defined in another way, but this time with the community ownership and then with the oversight responsibility by the district assembly. So in as much as there is youth employment, mm -hmm. we need to go to the processes to make sure that the youth will not just wake up and then get into any site. Because the adverse effect of Galamse on our environment, on our water bodies, on even it comes along with a lot of social vices. Drug abuse, teenage pregnancy, these are all issues that are related to Galamse. Mm -hmm. So when you are handling Galamse, we need to be very careful and make sure that in the long run, it becomes, the community mining policy becomes a blessing mm -hmm. and not a case. You, you were just talking earlier about the involvement of um, local authorities, the chiefs. What, what's, what's your relations like w with them? Because uh, it's also a key factor in putting a stop to illegal mining within the district. The chief, I would say, play 60-70% role in this fight. Right. Because mostly, Galamseas uh, are not even from the area. In most of the areas that we have done, the financiers are businessmen who invest in the industry. Oh, so they are from outside the, from the, outside the community. The so they come to the community and then they approach landowners who happen to be the chiefs. So the chiefs then give the land out to them, like the Teleko Bukazi issue that we spoke about. Right. So we, knowing that, realizing that the chief have a role to play, in all our engagement, we've had several meetings, several one-on-one -on -one engagement with them. As Dysek, the you know, in my capacity as DC, I sit You're also the, the yeah, chairman chairperson of, of the district Dysek. security council. So we, we have engaged them extensively. Mm -hmm. The most recent one was when we brought the chief of Sangma, mm -hmm. uh, Teluku Bukazo, Anya, Nkrofo, all of them together. Mm -hmm to discuss modalities on how we could implement a uh, well-structured community mining operation in our district. Mm. Currently, there are some concessions that has been uh, earmarked for community mining. Mm. So we are working with the ministry. And, and since government. you're talking about the District Security Council, I, I do recall uh, about last month or some months ago, you, you, you were involved, in the, there were some security breaches in the, in the area, uh, which resulted in the arrest of some, some youthful persons within the district. Uh, the IGP himself was involved in that operation. Yes. I recall that you're, you're part of uh, those who led a, a delegation to engage the IGP so um, he could do something about the situation uh, in your district. What's the update on, on that? instability, the, the, the situation we witnessed within Elimbele uh, about a month or two ago. But I think you were, you were in, that, in that room. Precisely. In the meeting <laughs> where the IGP, the IGP was very clear mm -hmm. in, in, to us that what happened mm -hmm. on that very fateful first April day mm -hmm. is something that no, no police organization will countenance. So the arrests were made, the people have been put before court and as it is, we led the dele I led the delegation of the right. chiefs to, to come and then plead on behalf of, first to apologize to the IGP mm -hmm. because that very violence that happened, the like police was attacked. My office was attacked. Oh, you were attacked in yes, the process as yes, well? Yes, So that's when people say that I'm involved in Galamse. Yeah, I, you're, you're, I you're know, really surprised at yeah, that. Yeah, I'm surprised. So, so you, your, your officers and everyone was attacked? We were attacked, what? yes. Right from the, the court is about 15 meters away from the this assembly. So on that fateful day when the Galamseas storm the court to try and then to rescue their colleagues from the court. Mm. And then it led to the unfortunate incidents of the shooting and the, the death of that young man and Judonko. May his soul rest in perfect, perfect peace. Mm. Right from the court, I was the first target. You attacked? I was in my office. They came with colors of machetes, chanting war songs, looking for the DC to, to harm me. Because to them, I've been a thorn in their flesh. Look, if you have a DC who has a and back on about 15 to 16 Galamse operations within a period of three years. As sometimes I've had to appear in court to testify against Galamseas in court, in open court, I'll definitely become a target. Right. It is for this reason that when uh, I've also become a, a 
target of the other side accusing me. Mm. Uh, I think uh, it's not something that anybody will. But yeah. fortunately, like I said earlier on, the Minas Commission had an extensive investigation. Mm. They spoke to all the relevant bodies involved in the, the, the police, the citizens, the individuals. But the, inter interestingly, if you go to the community Elembele now, the void of politics, and you ask anybody in the community, they will tell you that, oh, no, as for DC, he's not the one fighting Galamsi. Mm. He's not. And I've well, used every single platform that I've had. Just to clear it's the. Not, the no, 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 to, no, to speak against Galamsi. Mm. To let them, everybody know that the effect on Galamsi, right. it's all of us, we are at risk. Mm. So we shouldn't think that, okay, for, for political expediency, right. we can tag the DC. Who is a parliamentary candidate just because he's a parliamentary candidate? To You're being public, for. Yes. We, we need to go. So, what, what, what will be your message to, I mean, the general public and particularly for those who find themselves within your district? Uh, my message to the general public is that, we all, as we all know, the effect of, of Galamse on our environment is just the negative impact. It's serious now. I mean, look at what is going on yeah. on the screen. You right. see it. Our water bodies are being polluted, our land is being degraded. There are chemicals, there are health hazards. But in the local community, bless, yeah. it must interest you to note, any time I've arrested a Galamsea, I've never had a peace of mind. You have all manner of people calling you, putting pressure on you to, to, release. to release the Galamsea. You have chiefs, you have pastors, you have elders, you have imams, you have almost everybody calling you because you know what? It's a local economy. Mm. It's a money issue. Because in the local economy, people will get money out of it. Out of it. So even when it's, it goes against our interests, against our health, against our environment, mm -hmm. people are ready to indulge in it. So I'll call on each and every one of us mm -hmm. to collectively, and I also call on the judiciary, because in all these fights, the only remedy available to me as a DC is to effect the arrest of Galamseas. Mm -hmm. Once I do that, my job comes to an end. Mm -hmm. We then hand them over to the police for them to be processed to court. So, like I said in the beginning, it should be a collective, concerted effort right. for us to nip Galamse in the bud. But currently, as we speak, we have stopped Galamse, and there's no Galamse activity in LMLA. And that's the district chief executive of the area, assuring you about that, Kwesi Bunzo, there. And, uh... <music>